I'll tell you what, guys, I've been reviewing cloud backup services for, I guess, 10 years now, and iDrive is pretty consistently at the top. Why, you ask? Because it does something that most services won't do. You see, it's not just about online backups, because iDrive also is a cloud storage service. And I'll be diving into that further in this iDrive review, so stay tuned, because I'll also be sharing the secret feature that sets iDrive apart and might just make it your new favorite tech tool. You know that feeling you get when you open a file and see it's corrupted? Horrible, right? And I know all of us have accidentally deleted files. It's an absolute nightmare when you realize it may have gone forever or you accidentally saved the wrong version of the file and the original is nowhere to be found. Well, with iDrive, you can brush those worries away. It's like a digital security blanket protecting your irreplaceable files, photos, and memories. And let's find out if iDrive is all it's cracked up to be. iDrive is all about features. What sets it apart from its competition is that it has both online backup and cloud storage features in one account. Real quick, cloud storage gives you easy access to your data, while online backup provides a way to restore your data. I'll leave a link in the description with a more detailed explanation on cloudwords.net for those who like to explore around that topic a little bit. Now, starting with its cloud backup features, iDrive lets you backup multiple devices, including your cell phone. But what you can do with a backup doesn't stop there. You can clone your entire computer with a disk image backup. And if you're unsure what that is, think of it like creating a snapshot of all your data, including your installed apps and OS settings. And if you experience something catastrophic with your computer, you can simply restore things to the way it was. Lifesaver, right? Now, with iDrive, you aren't limited just to the cloud. You can connect a network attached storage device or back up your data on an external hard drive. This gives you the best of both worlds because you can create a hybrid backup with some of your data in the cloud and some that lives on your local backup. I think this is a, a pretty nice touch for those who aren't quite ready to dive fully into cloud-based storage. And iDrive also offers continuous backup. Basically, as you're working away on your computer, iDrive captures everything in real time. And it's a feature I value because it saves me the hassle of having to manually do backups all the time and hit the backup now button. It's really a time saver. But what about your photos? Well, iDrive has a dedicated mobile app called iDrive Photos designed to secure and organize your photo albums. You can restore lost photos, you can share your images or set up automatic photo backup. What sets iDrive apart from most of its online backup competition is its cloud storage features. Every account includes a cloud drive folder and anything you upload to the drive folder, including updates and changes, gets synced across your devices. You can share files from it, and best of all, the actions you take in the cloud drive folder won't impact any of your backups. That's pretty amazing, right? I could spend probably the rest of the video covering all the features iDrive has, but a recent addition I found very interesting is the cloud-to-cloud -cloud connection to Google Workspace and Microsoft 365. If you have an account with either, you can now back up all your data into iDrive account. And it's pretty useful to also back up your, your cloud data. So it's not all fresh roses with iDrive. It has its thorns as well, like the user interface. If you're asking me, it could do with a nice refresh. Everything feels a little cramped and then menus, well, they're cumbersome, to say the least. Honestly, even the mobile app looks a bit dated. However, if my biggest gripe is the aesthetics, then the service must be doing a pretty good job because we had services where the features are just bad and the aesthetics are great, but I don't really see that happening in my day-to-day -day use of the app. With um, essentially our judgment of the strengths and weaknesses of an online backup, and we try to always tell you how well it protects your data and also how easy it is to retrieve your data if disaster strikes. And iDrive does both pretty well, with one example being incremental backups. Instead of backing up a file for every little change you make, iDrive only updates the part of the file you changed. 
Now, if you'd like to plan ahead like me, you can schedule your backups with iDrive. All you have to do is set a date and time and let iDrive do the rest. If you prefer to live in the moment, that's fine too by me, but iDrive lets you run manual backups when you wish, so the choice is essentially yours, and I like to have this flexibility now and again. I know what you're thinking, but what about those of us with a huge amount of data and the internet just isn't fast enough? Well, good news, iDrive has you covered with iDrive Express. It's a career service where you'll get a physical hard drive sent to you and then you'll have to upload all your data by just simply sending it back. Okay, I'll set the scene. You've backed up your computer, right? And then it's destroyed. So what's next? Well, with iDrive, you can get your data back with just a few clicks. But I just told you my computer is destroyed, Mauricio. Well, don't worry, because you can restore your backup on another device, either through the app or a web browser. And this is a super convenient way of getting up and running again as quickly as possible. Personally, I would recommend using the application because it gives you a few more options than through the web interface, but it's up to you. Can use, uh, you can do it either way. And if you don't need to restore everything, you can also use what iDrive calls snapshots. Snapshots let you go back and recover a single file if needed, which is basically a point in time recovery of a certain snapshot of that file. And it's very fascinating and a pretty cool tool in my opinion. Look at iDrive like this. It's your safety net should your computer fall off the edge of a cliff. From restoring a disk failure or just letting grab a single backup file, any way you look at it, iDrive's pretty much got your back. The best cloud features in the world are meaningless without tight security and user-focused privacy. The good news is that iDrive is as secure of a service as you'll find it. It encrypts your data using AES 256-bit encryption during data transfers and while stored on iDrive servers. That's not when it comes to security. You can also enable two-factor authentication to give your account an extra layer of protection. It's like having a dedicated digital guard to stop someone who manages to get past your initial login. And even better, iDrive's physical security is also on lockdown. Its data centers have 24 seven surveillance, biometric readers and backup generators, and good luck getting in there if you're not authorized. If there's another area where I'm not exactly thrilled with, it's with iDrive's privacy. Now, don't get me wrong, you don't have to worry too much about others snooping around your personal data. My main issue is with zero knowledge encryption. Why? By default, zero knowledge encryption is not enabled in your account. And if you didn't turn it on when you created your account, well, then too bad, you're out of luck. You'd have to delete your account and start over. There's something else you need to know about activating zero knowledge encryption. If you do enable it, then you use the, the ability to share files from your cloud drive folder. This is a big hit to iDrive's functionality, especially if you pay for a subscription. So while it's not an ideal scenario, you can give your account private encryption, but it is clear to me, at least, that iDrive would prefer you didn't. didn't. I do want to drive home though, that even if you don't use zero knowledge encryption, your data is safe with iDrive. Unless compelled by law, nothing in iDrive's privacy policy indicates that it would access your data or pass it on to third party companies. All right, on to the most important consideration, the cost. Well, I have more good news. iDrive is very affordable. For now, you can create a free 10 gigabyte account. And I'll warn you that iDrive is eliminating that option soon, moving to a free trial business model. And that really sucks, but don't worry. I have another video with plenty of free cloud storage options that you can check out right here on YouTube or you go to cloudwords.net to check out our free cloud storage roundup over there. Now, if you wanna purchase a plan, there's a very easy on the wallet option called iDrive Mini. It costs $2.95 per year and gives you 100 gigabytes of storage. It's a great way to get enough storage to properly test the service without breaking the bank and really to know if it's a service for you. Remember, back at the beginning when I said, I'll let you in on a little known secret, right? Okay iDrive will give you the same amount of storage space for both backup 
and cloud storage. And that's right. Let's say you get the mini, right? You get 100 gigabytes of backup space and 100 gigabytes of cloud storage space. It's quite the sweet deal in my opinion. And no matter your backup needs, iDrive has personal and business plans that will meet them. In fact, I haven't seen many cloud storage or backup providers offer quite as many different options as iDrive does. There are far too many possibilities to cover in a video, but I'll put a link in the description so that will break them down all for you so you can make a decision which is the paid plan for you. And personally, I'd like iDrive to simplify this a little bit just to like narrow it down to a few options, but you can get a good overview on, on their website. So there you have it. It's a fully featured and affordable online backup and cloud storage service all packaged into one. And if you're still on fence about giving iDrive a try, let me ask you this. Well, for one, do you have data that you'd be devastated to lose? If the answer is yes, then you would well consider using iDrive or backing up your data in the first place. Whether you use it iDrive or whether you just do local backups, please, please do back up your data because we have so many users, so many readers and viewers um, who tell us sad stories about how they lost all of their precious files. So yes, backup sounds boring, but it is necessary. Do you back up your data? Seriously, in my opinion, you should. It's time. Would you consider iDrive as an option? Drop your thoughts in the comment section to let me know. And if you found this review helpful, hitting the like and subscribe button is a great way to let me know. And it really does help me out to grow this channel. That's all for now. Keep your data backed up and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye-bye.